Hi guys, how are you? Uh, I know that no one asked me to do this, but I asked myself to record this video, and I like to talk about Altmagic. I believe that Altmagic is really cool, and I suggest it to everyone to use it. Uh, why I feel like it's cool? Uh, usually we, when we are talking about the impact of our papers, our research, we usually just talk about edge index and citations. But Altmetric is uh, showing us many more things. It checks the impact of our papers uh, by checking the citations and also the number of times that our papers is mentioned uh, on different social media like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, and also on different news websites. Uh, so uh, I believe that this is somehow uh, a better uh, measure of the impact of our papers. So I usually check uh, my papers on Altmetric to see who is talking about my papers. And also when I'm reading a paper, I like to sometimes for the ones that I'm so interested, I like to know who is talking about this paper on different social media platforms. So I check the altimetry for the paper. So first I'd like to show you what really altimetric is and then how we can add it to Google Chrome. So this is my page. I like it. <laughs> so these are my publications and I like to check two of them. Uh, this one and also this one. So these are two of my publications. I just like to know uh, who is talking about my papers. So I added Altmetric here, and I will let you know how you can add it later. So I just press Altmetric, and here it will be opened. And just when I click on it, this page will be opened. Let me do the same for the other one, Altmetric it, and then check it. So here it says that this is this paper of mine is uh, mentioned on Twitter, 21 tweets, tweeters, and uh, three Mendeley and checked like the uh, different website. But here just for me, the paper is new and not many people are talking about it. So I checked the Twitter and it says that these people, which is mostly myself, uh, have, ha uh, have talked about my paper and uh, maybe they have retweeted, uh, they have tweeted about it, but usually I posted about it here and people just retweeted or commented uh, about my paper. Uh, my other paper here, it says that the uh, ultimate score is uh, higher, it's 22. This one was 16. And 22, if you look at the different rings over here, it's for different platforms. So this one was just Twitter, so the color is just this color. But this one we have three colors, each color for different platform. So it says that uh, these are the countries that uh, ha ha like people from those countries have mentioned the paper. So two uh, news uh, have mentioned my paper. On Twitter, these people are talking about my paper. On Facebook, uh, this one. And these are the citations. It says that 32 publications cited it. Uh, this citation is usually a little bit different from what you can see on Google Scholar. So I believe that this is so interesting and uh, it helps us to know more about our papers, to know about other people's, uh, people's other researchers' papers, and also it will help us to uh, make connections sometimes. Uh, by reading about paper, you will see that who is interesting, uh, interested in what paper, and then uh, you may try to make new connections. Also, what uh, this is so helpful for is, for example, you are going to apply for a fellowship or grant or something. There is a section that you have to talk about yourself. So here you can use uh, Altmetric and check uh, who is talking about you, and maybe it's like uh, you have a interesting impact somewhere. And you can mention that in your uh, grant application that, okay, uh, part of my impact is this one. And it's here it's easy uh, to track your research. Now I want to talk about how to add Altmetric 8 to uh, Google Chrome. So we have to go to altmetric.com, then for researchers, 
then this section Altmetric Bookmarklet, learn more. And then here we have to fill this form. Now I just filled the form, my name, and you have to use your uh, academic email and then get the book, book, bookmarklet. Then here you just need to drag it and drop it here. Then you will have it. Now I have two of them, so let me remove one of them. So now I have my altmetric aid uh, option here. So when I read a paper uh, anywhere, uh, it doesn't need to be just like on PubMed, for example, my last publication. When, let me just check the, the real page. So for example, this is the uh, journal page. And when I'm here, I read a paper, for example, this is my paper or any other paper, I just need to do altmetric aid and it will be clear for me the altmetric score and also by clicking on it i can uh, learn more about the paper i hope uh, you find uh, this video useful and use it thank you